Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, my dear students, grade four. Today we will complete unit eight, lesson two, with tradition dances. If you are into dances, then this lesson will be after your liking. I know you are. You, you really want to know more about this one, so I'm ready to. Okay. So the first one we are going to take and talk about today is that there is a country called New Zealand. New Zealand, they have a dance, as you can say. Look, that, that's a special dance, very special dance. Usually the rugby team, rugby is a sport. So the rugby team, All Black, that's, that's their names, All Black, they perform the hacker dance. Again, the hacker dance, it's a tradition dance there. This day, they slap their, uh, they slap their legs, they slap their legs, slap their chest, they, they, they scream, they shout, they stick out their tongues and they show the white of the eyes to intimidate the opponent or the team they are playing against. That's something really interesting. So the Maori haka or the Maoris from New Zealand stick out their tongue. So whenever you stick out your tongue, it means you take it out this way. Stick out their tongues and show the whites, the white, you know, your, your, your eye has got two colors, the black one and the white one. So they show the white, they show the white of their eyes to frighten, to frighten their opponents in a famous sporting event. So they do this in a sporting events. Let's read and let's have fun uh, with that. Okay. Uh, the Maori Haka. The Maori Haka dance is an important part of New Zealand. National, New Zealand's national identity. This is something national. They are very proud of it. An ancient, look at these words, because these bold with blue, bold words, we are going to speak about them later. So if you've got the book or copy book, write these words down, because after reading this, I will explain their meanings and everything related to these new words. So please, if you've got pencil, if you've got copy book, write these uh, uh, words, new words down, because... I will explain them and after or at the end of this lesson we will have quick quiz so as to make sure that you understand the lesson so please write everything so in ancient times it was performed to intimidate and threaten opponents before a war so before they have a fight against each another they performed the hacker dance but now no the rugby team used the same dance to Intimidate and frighten the sporting or oh, the team that they are playing against. So intimidate and threaten opponents before the war. But today, it famous, it is famous all over the world. It, thanks to the New Zealand rugby team, because of this team, everybody knows the dance now. Thanks to because of the rugby team, all blacks. The All Blacks who performed the Hakka before the match begins. So before the match begins, they perform the dance. The Hakka is also used to welcome people and celebrate achievements. Also, so they use, they, they change it, the use of the, the dance itself. So before that, they used this dance to intimidate and threaten and uh, frighten the enemy. But now they do with this dance, they perform this dance to celebrate achievements and to welcome people. This is uh, inconsistency. This is something against each other, but that's, that's what they use. This is something very nice, actually. So before people and to celebrate achievements, the haka involves the men bending and lifting their knees. So bend, lift. Lift your knee, it means to raise your knee. Lift, lift your knee, lift it up. And bending it. And look at this one. As they shout at their opponents, the bull very strong faces. Pull face, it means you put your face, that means you have a face like this way. Pull their faces. So they pull their faces. Okay, uh, I will take you in a round and I will let you watch this video about the hackathons, about all black team, all the black. Uh, uh, and, and you would watch with me how do they perform the dance. So, watch this one. That's all black team. 
All blacks. Look. All blacks are because of the shirts. Okay, look. This is the white team. That's their opponent. Opponent. The team they are playing against. As you can see, the hacker is, they, they shout, they move the body parts, they bend and lift to their knees. Look. 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 The, the man, the man that you saw, that you've just seen. Look, they slapped their arms, they slapped their legs. So, this is the rugby team, all the blacks, and the white one, that's opponent. That's their opponents. The opponents mean the, uh, the team that they are playing against. Again. New words before, we're talking in the text that we read together a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago. Ancient. Ancient, it means very old. For example, the Egyptian pyramids are ancient. The Egyptian pyramids are very old. Intimidate, to threaten, to frighten someone to do something. Dancer, dancer that we saw, performed the haka to intimidate their opponents. That's exactly what they did to the white team. Okay. Uh, the national Egyptian team won its opponents in the final match. Stick out, stick out to take something and make it clear and everybody can see it. So stick out to be noticed so that you and, and the others can see it. If I stick out my tongue, I make it clear so that everybody can see it. Okay? Let us take something else. This is flamenco dance. As you can see, this girl, flamenco dance. Flamenco dance, this is not in New Zealand, this is in some parts uh, of the world, but in, for example in Argentina or in Latin America, it's it, well spread there. So, flamenco, the flamenco dance is a Spanish in origin. It's a Spanish in origin. This fo form of dancing developed over several, right down this word, several centuries before, from the Gypsy, Moorish and Andalusian traditional dancing. It's a series of passionate, it's a series of passionate dance performed by men and women. So men and women, they, they perform this dance, but they, this dance is really passionate. Passionate it means full of feelings and emotional dance. Uh, the flamenco dancers often begins by slowly clapping their hands. That's how do they start the dance. They start by slowly clapping their hands this way. After that, or afterwards, their hands to the music before they begin to stamp, stamp with the heels of their shoes. This is accompanied by elegant curving arm and hands, curving arm, that's your arm, arm is a straight, curve your arm to, to make it bend a little bit this way. This is accompanied by elegant curving arm and hands movement. The women wear beautiful dresses, you can see here, amazing one. and. Uh, hand movements, the women wear beautiful dresses which is swirl around, which is swirl tight a little bit around them and they dance and men wear tight black trousers 
and brightly coloured shirts. This is a very nice dance and I, I encourage you to watch uh, a lot of videos about the flamenco dance. It's it's amazing one. As you can see girls, they they they, they put on amazing dress and also uh, men they wear tighty trousers tighty trousers with heel so they start the dance with slowly clapping their hands uh, with the music so when they see the music when they hear the music sorry they start clapping slowly um, okay two words two new words in the in the previous text the first one is several several mean more than one maybe two three but not many so several couple of times I visited my friends several times for example three times four times maybe but not a lot of times passionate that's emotional and full of feelings he was passionate about football he he loves football in the way that you know full of feelings and emotions he loves football okay uh, that's it a quiz and quick quiz you stop the video have a look in these five items, five words that we took uh, about in the previous texts. Stop the video now and check your answer with me. I will read them to you and afterwards you can try your answer and after that I will give you the chance to check your answer with me. More than two but not many. Emotional or strong feeling. Very old. Too frightened. People you compete against in a sport. As I told you, stop the recording and think of the answer. Number one, more than two, but not many. If your answer is several, then your answer is correct. That's several. Emotional or a strong feeling, this is a passionate. If your answer is passionate, then it's correct very old that's ancient that's ancient too frightened to intimidate repeat after me this word intimidate intimidate and of course the last one people you compete against in a sport that's your opponent that's your opponent really i've enjoyed this session with you and write me in the comments below here if you watch this video right now you write me in the comments if you need anything and if you like this way for explanations and also thank you for watching and stay home stay safe thank you very much see you bye